guess this is the start of the documentary. Everybody knows it's a low budget film and we're nobodies. We went to a film festival and felt like everybody was looking at us like we were jokes. Just a couple of guys from Texas that asked nicely if they could make the movie. We offered to work on it for free for sandwiches and beer. I guess the important thing about us is we don't have any money. It had gone from, oh, about 30, 40 people the first night of shooting in the first week down to a core of about four or five. The studio dropped the camera. And of course, there was a pretty good dent in the camera. Seven hours in the makeup chair is like 28 degrees outside. Do you guys realize just how, how weird that what's going on with you is compared to other people? Having the house changed into the movie set, which was a condemned house. So his wife kind of had to move into it. There are some people that tend to be full of themselves. Is this a good angle? Because I don't like the... My eyes are gonna look like this. Alfred Hitchcock used to film everything in a suit and, you know, do it with his boxes. We made a cop car for, I don't know, about $300. What is the, the actual title of this movie? Some repo Hawaiian walk. It was a bit weird, a bit wacky. Russian TV. It looked kind of disjointed. He's come down from Mars. Excuse my friend. After 20 years. Some kind of alien thing. One man's adventure with the rest of the free world. Something to do with rats. Money isn't everything. Super rave, stealing our thoughts. Kick problems, work problems. I just remember it was funny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Bob? Name's Waldo, sir. Whatever. It's called Waldo's Hawaiian Holiday. Technically the sequel to Repo Man. Pretty much descend on a location, shoot a commando, and then blow as fast as we can. So then we hear sirens coming. There's no way we're getting out of this one. Something great for us to do. Little did I know that it was going to take up, you know, two years of our life. So much money. Never figured I was going to get rich making this thing. Didn't even really give a shit. Who cares? Stuart rarely showed up on time, and when he did, he was not sober. But other than that, he's a super professional. We actually chased down Hurricane Rita. It's coming down in sheets and it's getting more sideways. You're screaming to out to get help. I knew that it was doomed from the very beginning. And how am I supposed to get anyone else to f***ing jump on board? All of a sudden something blew up. This asshole's obviously not sticking with us. There'll come a day when you wished you were dead. We're not the people you want to screw over. Like my balls. He's old punk rock, so you know he has a way of getting back. All of a sudden, it's like, oh shit, these guys are really doing it. Screw authority. You're not going to tell me what to do. Am I in the punk? Mm. We're just watching him spin around in a toilet, and he's one of those fart turds. You know that when you flush five times, it will not go down because it's like got air bubbles in it. I guess I wanted to do a backyard down and dirty film, and that's what I got. Just give us some amount of credibility. 